Hey everyone, this is Matthew Doyle for Autodesk Gameware, and today I'm going to walk you guys through our new Autodesk Scale Form for Mobile Platforms Unity Plugin integration. We're very excited about our new Unity plugin, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to download the plugin, install the plugin, uh, and of course make use of some of the sample demos that come with the installation. And I'll even walk you through the steps needed to get it up and running on an Android device. So let's get started. The first thing you're obviously going to need to do is sign up as a developer at gameware.autodesk.com and then of course you will need to download the Unity plugin SDK from our website. And the page you'll see will look something like this. And you can see that we have four different options for Unity. We've got a Scaleform Unity plugin for Android for PC development. We've got one for Android for Mac development. We also have the plugin for iOS devices, also obviously on Macintosh. And then we, of course, have Scaleform Unity for Windows development. And so we'll start out with downloading just Scaleform's Unity plugin for Windows development and uh, the Android as well. Okay, so once you download those, you're going to need to install them, obviously. So you'll double click the application on your desktop or wherever you have saved it. And then, of course, just follow the prompts. And you'll notice that the default location for installation is under your Users folder. And then Documents, we've got Autodesk Scaleform SF4.1 underscore Unity 3.5. So we'll give that a moment to install. And that brings us to the end of the installation. Now, I do advise you to leave the Open README checked. And that will, of course, bring up the README file that walks you through some of the basic steps needed to get a sample scale form game up and running on your computer. Okay, so before we continue, let's take a look at the installation folder. And again, that's in your user folder under My Documents, Autodesk, Scale Form, SF4.1, Unity 3.5, and this is the root directory of the Unity Scale Form integration plugin. And first off, you'll see that uh, there are five folders. Bin, Doc, Integrations, Resource, and Uninstall. The Uninstall folder is not something we're worried about. Uh, in the Bin folder, you're going to find executables for some of the basic scale form uh, applications that you'll want. And this includes our AMP client, which is a profiling tool for profiling your scale form content in Unity. We've got our exporter application, which allows you to create compressed GFX files, which are basically compressed Swift files. And our GFX Media Player. This is a standalone scale form player. There's also a doc folder. And in this doc folder, you're going to find a lot of documentation on all of the various scale form features and functionality. So be sure to check out this folder and read some of this documentation. It's going to be pretty important to learning how to use scale form. We also have a resources folder, and inside the resources folder, you're going to find uh, several folders related to what we call CLIC. CLIC stands for Component Lightweight Interface Kit, and basically CLIC is a framework for creating UI widgets such as buttons, sliders, checkboxes, scrolling lists, and so forth. And uh, it's meant to be a drag-and-drop system that is easily fully extensible and easily skinned. So you'll want to check out the assets found in these folders. And you're going to find in these folders both ActionScript files as well as Flash files related to those various components. All right, and also in the root directory, you will find getting started with GFX. And these PDFs are pretty important. Obviously, you're only going to want to read the one that's in your language. We have for English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and traditional Chinese here. And this is where you're going to find out all of the basics that you need to get up and running with scale form in general, scale form development in general. All right, and within the integrations folder, we'll find Unity 3.5. What we're going to do is we do have some package files here when we installed the PC version and the Android version. We have some package files here that we will use to import all of the content for these versions into these folders. All right, and in the doc folder, this is pretty important, you're going to find two docs related specifically to scale form unity integration. Uh, the readme doc, that is the one that gets pulled up when you install the plugin, and the integration doc, which goes into considerable detail on how our integration is built into Unity, as well as uh, information on uh, where you will find various files, uh, how to use the integration, 
and other little gems that you're definitely going to want to read about. So be sure to check out both of these documents. Okay, so before we get started, we want to make sure that we have a Hello World demo and a Starship Down demo folder if they aren't already there. If they aren't, go ahead and create them. And we're also going to create uh, Android versions, so we might as well create those folders as well. So let's just do right-click, New Folder, and I'll start with Starship Down underscore Android. All right, and we'll do the same for Hello World. Okay, so we're going to start by creating the Starship Down demo that demonstrates a full scale form menu with a pause menu as well and HUD and so forth. So we're going to start by building that one. And uh, to get started, we'll go ahead and launch Unity. Okay, and in Unity, we're going to create a new project. So File, New Project. We're going to browse to our Unity integration. So that would be under Autodesk, Scale Form, SF 4.1, Unity 3.5, Integrations, Unity 3.5, and we're going to select the Starship Down folder. Click on Create. Unity will shut down and restart. Okay, now that Unity's restarted, we're going to need to copy the settings for this project into our Starship Down folder, and so we'll go into our File Explorer, find the folder Starship Down underscore settings. Let's go in there and then into project settings. We'll right click copy editor build settings dot asset and we'll go back up to the Unity 3.5 folder, enter the Starship Down folder and we should have several new directories that Unity created for us when we created the new project. Enter the project settings folder, right click, paste and copy and replace. Okay now we'll go back to Unity, and now we're just going to import the package file, the Unity package file, into our new project. So we'll click Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Then we will browse to the Unity 3.5 folder, find our Starship Down PC Unity package, double click that. When the Importing Package window pops up, just click the Import button, and Unity will import the assets. Okay, so you should now see all of the assets for this project in your project folder. And the first level, dummy level, we're going to double click that. And when you're asked if you want to save the changes, just select don't save. All right. And now we're going to click on dummy camera in our hierarchy and just make sure the dummy level camera script is there. Now some things to bear in mind, we'll want to check the build settings for this project. So click on file, build settings. And in the build settings window, you should see the three levels that are related to this project and they should already have values assigned to them 0, 1, and 2. If not, you're going to need to assign those values yourself, but they should already be assigned. Everything should be ready to go, so we can just hit play. And now we can see our sample scale form menu inside of our project here. Now all of this was built using our component lightwood interface kit, the buttons here and so forth, so you have very nice uh, animations and mouse over events. And go to the options screen here and change these values. Now, if we want to build for Android instead of PC, that's pretty easy to do, but there are some steps that we will have to take. Um, basically, we're going to have to repeat some of the steps that we've already done for the PC build. Now, of course, that means that we need to make sure in the Unity 3.5 directory we have a Starship Down Android folder that we've created ahead of time. We will need to create a new project inside of that folder, so we'll do File, new project. We'll browse to that folder and select it and then click create. Unity will of course restart just as before we're going to need to copy the Starship Down settings and paste those into the Starship Down Android project settings. Copy and replace. Okay and now back in our Unity project for Starship Down Android we will import the package so Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Once again, browse to the Unity 3.5 folder, and in there you should have a Starship Down Android Unity Package. We'll select that. In the Importing Package window, just click the Import button, and of course we'll let Unity import those assets now. Okay, as before, we've got our project here, and we're ready to go. There's a few other things we'll need to do to get it onto an Android, of course. So we'll click File, Build Settings, and then we need to select Android and switch platform. Okay, now that we have switched platforms, we'll just need to click on the player settings button and under player settings, 
look for identification and we'll change the bundle identifier to the name of your company and your product and in this case we're going to change it to com.autodesk.starshipdowndemo. Also we need to change the minimum API level of our Android SDK. I'm going to change it to 2.2 Froyo. Now obviously you need to make sure that the Android SDK is installed. Now in the case of the Starship Down demo it doesn't have auto rotation uh, orientation change so under resolution and presentation I'm going to open that up and I'm going to change the default orientation in this case to landscape left and that is what will work for this particular application. Now I'll click on build and run and it's going to ask me where I would like to save the APK file that I'm going to create for my Android and uh, it should already be defaulted to the Starship Down Android project directory. I'm just going to give it a name, call it Starship Down, and click Save. And it will begin building the APK file. And of course, once it finishes building, as long as your Android device is connected to your computer, it will automatically push it to that device and run the application. Now, if this is your first time installing this, it will ask you for your Android SDK folder. And just be sure to point it to the root directory of your Android SDK. Of course, if you haven't built the platform-specific files for your Android SDK, then you will need to do that using the Android SDK tools. And that's all there is to building an Android executable and pushing it to your device. Now, if you'll be creating your own game project from scratch without using Starship Down or Hello World Demo as a starting point, there's a few folders that you'll want to copy into your project. First of all, you will want the core integration script files for the Scaleform plugin, and those can be found under Starship Down, Assets, Plugins, and then SF. And this folder will need to be copied into your project. So simply grab the SF folder by copying it. And in your project folder, you will paste that into the same location, Assets, Plugins. If you are doing Android development, you will also want to copy the file libgfxunity3d.so, shared object, into your Assets, Plugins, Android folder. And that can be found under bin, Android, release, libgfxunity3d.so. Be sure to copy that file into your Assets Plugins Android folder. Now, as far as your Flash Assets are concerned, those should be stored under Assets, Streaming Assets. And you can see here in our Starship Down Android project, all of our Flash and Swift files, Swift's being published Flash files, as well as under Com, Scale Form, Starship Down, in these various subfolders you will find the actual action script files that we use in those flash files. Okay, so that does it for this tutorial video. In our next video, we'll cover more detailed steps on how to actually build a Scaleform menu system. So in the meantime, we recommend you read the documentation and play around with the integration yourself and see what kind of things you can come up with. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and we'll see you next time.